Hey guys, been a while hasn't it? Five whole freaking days, my longest gap in not uploading in probably a couple of months. I was hopefully aiming for a weekend push for the next video, but unfortunately too much shit got in the way for that to happen, which sucks not just for you lovely fellows, but also me because I couldn't capitalize on these strong ass weekends recently. Have I ever told you guys how much I love Molt now? Cause he definitely brought back life into this game at least in terms of viewership on YouTube. I'm seeing small spikes across the board and I couldn't be any happier. And thanks to him I'm getting a couple of new subscribers as well. So welcome a bard if you're one of those people. And enjoy the ride that is my Bloons TD Battles channel. Full of shit ranging from mods to dank memes to somewhat try hard games like this one. Mostly modding at the moment though. Anyways, a busy schedule means I gotta get some quick content out, and since Tyler wasn't really available the next best option was to think of whatever idea I had on my mind and hop into high level arenas with it. And that idea is a loadout I've been seeing getting some very occasional play from time to time in such arenas. Tack, Mortar and Farm. Ignore this first game, it's just filler for the tack games that are to come. Plus tacks aren't exactly the greatest on this map in terms of placements for the early game, so that's why I went heli. As far as I've seen, this strategy is actually pretty weak cause its late game is horrible, and the early game isn't nearly strong enough to make up for it, but I'm going for it anyways, because I want to try something new. And first time playing arenas in over 3 weeks by the way, so you can expect the usual rust layer to have accumulated by now, so don't judge if I play in unoptimally because I probably am. It's a good thing my success on YouTube isn't based on how well I play this game I guess, lol, if that was the case for this game then the landscape would look much different. Alright. On to the next game and now we have ourselves a map where tacks do fairly decently on. Based on the games I've looked at that used this loadout, I assume the following strategy is the most optimal. Start off with a farm as usual, and build up a blade shooter once you have the funds to do so, thanks to their plus one pierce buff they are now a viable option to defend against eco balloons, just a 0-3 is good enough up until round 4. At that point, I believe a 2-3 is necessary, so overall that's about a $1,700 money sink, which is actually about online with all the other strategies like darts, heli and ninja mortar, seems like a perfectly viable starting strategy for the early game. And on round 6 a mortar looks to be necessary if your opponent is going eco like this guy is. If they're going farms you can probably get away with just keeping the blade shooter cause you're going to need a lot of greens to overwhelm it, and blacks will very rarely be able to get past those blades of death. Same goes for round 8 pretty much, the combination of those two can handle a decent amount of yellows, but if it looks to be a lot of them yellows, just get the burny stuff and you all set. Napalm is OP if mods have taught me anything. Once it hits mid-game is when the strategy starts to differ from your usual defense, you see the Blade Maelstrom is a really really spooky ability, and your opponent will always be hesitant to rush you knowing you have it available, so depending on their playstyle you can potentially get away with being super greedy with farms. But on the other hand you can get fucked in the ass really hard if you go to ham, because without the ability or a ring of fire your tax can get overrun real easily. Hope you don't mind the language by the way, I dig a little deep in my vocabulary from time to time so if that's something that makes you uneasy then I'm afraid you'll have to live with it. But yeah, if you wanna be safe you can just get a ring of fire and that should handle everything but ceramics, although with how garbage this strategy is past round 24 I reckon you'll want to be as greedy as possible if you want to maximize your chances of winning. Because Mr. Hacker over there is going eco though, I think it was a good idea to get the ring early to handle all that pink balloon income. So while we wait for epic late game to arrive, because that's my plan for this video, let's answer one question. Do I enjoy old groups such as the ones listed in this comment? Certainly, I kind of listen to music all over the place if you didn't know already. 
but from those five you listed, I'd say Queen is the only one I enjoy listening to, or at least the one I enjoy listening to the most. The Beatles are alright and have some cool jams but it's not really my cup of tea I suppose. ACDC, Guns N' Roses and U2 I know some of their songs and they range from alright to decent, but I can't be bothered with the rest. If you wanted me to list the best songs out of that group, then probably we are the champions. Beautiful day, welcome to the jungle, and another one bites the dust in my opinion. While we're on the topic of old groups, I just want to share an interesting story. I don't know if my chemical romance counts as an old group, probably not but whatever, that's besides the point. So just a couple of weeks ago I randomly stumbled upon one of their songs called Welcome to the Black Parade. It's been nearly 10 years since the last time I heard it so the moment it started playing again, the nostalgia began flowing in. A couple dozen plays later on WTF, I love this song now. I don't know, I just felt that sharing that just cause, I'm sure everyone has those phases where they hear a song for the first time in a while, and it gets stuck in their head when you realize what you missed out on. So here is a question for you. Is there a song you fell in love with after forgetting about it for a long time? Comment below. Okay, I think it's a good idea to pause the Q&A for a bit while we see how Hacker deals with this all-out round 32 rush. He's got a pretty dank loadout of Ninja, Ice and Sub, but the length of the map isn't in his favor. He comes back at me with a counter rush of fast cooldown BFBs, and as weak as tack shooters are in the late game, they aren't absolutely useless, BFPs they can handle just fine, it's only ZOMGs that are the problem. And that my friends means game over, and on to the next epic late game match, which unfortunately is another farm versus eco game. I say unfortunately because I would really like to see how tax fair versus a giant ass rush, but with eco players they'll be all about outlasting you so that means you're the one rushing. And that in turn means tax will never get their moment to shine, or fail in this case cause I know they'll absolutely crumble past round 32, your best bet of winning versus a ZOMG rush at that point in the game would be to stall with the mortar ability and pray your opponent dies first. Or pray for a good fourth tower, however it seems that Ninja Kiwi has removed the fourth tower for BFB and boss arenas and it looks like it will stay that way because it makes things more balanced and no one will complain about RNG no more. I for one approve of that change, it's never a good time when you and your opponent choose the same three towers but he got ice as his fourth tower while you got blue. So yeah, let's pick up where we left off with the Q&A, I'll just do one more since we're running short on time. Omar back it up again with another question, this time to ask about the worst meme I have created. That's a difficult one to answer because I don't recall having very many memes to choose from in the first place, off the top of my head I can only think of 00 dart monkeys, comma regrow reds and the second best strategy. Golden sharks too but that existed before I spread the word on it, I think it was a king of the hill thing. With that said, none of these memes I really regret nor hate more than the other. The only thing that sucks about these memes are the people who run it down to the ground in 2017, there's a reason I hardly mention them anymore in my videos or make entire episodes on it, it just becomes unfunny at a certain point and that point ended a long time ago, at least in my opinion. I'm sure others still find it funny, maybe I just have to find a good middle ground. Now if you're talking about the worst memes in my upcoming compilation well that's another story because it hasn't been released yet, so I doubt that's what you're inquiring about. Okay, I think it's a good idea if we fast forward this game a little bit because nothing much is going on, it's looking like another round 32 all out game, but it'll be tougher this time to break through the power of those super monkeys. Only one way to find out if I could do it. But the following is not one of them. You'll see what I mean real soon. It's round 32 so time to unleash the ZOMGs, but round 32 also means the round of the massively clumped AI ceramics. 
One blade maelstrom with their infinite popping power should seal the deal. Or not, you wouldn't believe my eyes when I saw the defeat screen pop up. I know the maelstrom wasn't in the best position when I activated it, but damn. I guess we all learned a lesson today, tax aren't worth using in a 3 tower loadout unless you don't care and wanna go fully low. Have a pink day.